Okay, so what's the one place we had to go before we leave? BGC. Say it louder. Makati. BGC Makati. So, and there's no other way to go than to bring two pretty ladies with us. It is Sunday, so we don't expect it to be too crazy, but why not? At least we'll see it because we fly in the morning. So, basically, we're in North America again, are we? Yeah, it's so crazy. What a difference between where we are in Manila and Makati. Look at this. Look at all these lights. Attention, I leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion. Your mind is a weapon. 11 11, it's time for progression. Oh. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. Ooh, what a cultural difference here. You got like a, a dog uh, spa over here, dog in the city. Well, it's beautiful dining. Oh yeah, look at that. Tables on the street. Fancy cars everywhere. Yeah, that's dramatically different. Well, I can see why it's a lot more expensive to stay out this way. <laughs> Get a jump. Jump, jump. It's curving when you want to like I'll take that. So where's that famous club you talked about? Oracle, lots of big companies here. JP Morgan Chase. We got a bike repair station. Wow. Absolutely incredible. It explains why some people are saying to me that, what are you talking about? The Philippines isn't a poor place. And then they're like, come to BGC. This is like another world. Like you were just dropped from another planet here. This is another planet you were dropped into. Big, big difference. I can see why some people would get in a bubble and not realize what it's like on the real world. And uh, yeah, unbelievable. Of course, you know, as a Westerner, we're used to this type of city, but... Yeah, that definitely isn't something that we're used to. Yeah. They literally just drive their fancy cars back and forth. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, where we are, we have the jeepneys revving their engines, so... These guys here, music, look at this. Okay, cheers. Beautiful park. Everybody's just hanging out here. 
Oh wow, the tree of life. Let's check this out. Everything's peaceful here. Look at the electric scooters. You can rent. The roads and sidewalks are actually good enough to use them on. That's a big deal. Instead of having holes in the sidewalk that you could fall through. It is a really beautiful area. A lot of big brands here. It is late on a Sunday night and there's still nightlife everywhere. There's people everywhere. What is that up there? A museum. Oh, okay. Got a fancy museum. Rue Bourbon. Oh, I see. It's it's supposed to be like, uh, help me out here. Like Bourbon Street. Yeah. Yellow Cab, very common here. Very pretty one though. But yeah, that's a, quite the museum. I can't believe I am in the Philippines right now. dinosaur thing going on here. Transformer guy. Bio thing. Oh yeah, for kids. Apparently it's pretty pricey and only private schools can send their kids to come to something like this. Oh, okay. So if you didn't hear that, 500 pesos per student. So that's why. about ten dollars more than some people make in a single day a lot of people okay Shangri-La if anybody knows any big brands I know it's really dark but that's a brand new Shangri-La building right there Wolfgang oh Wolfgang okay yeah he's a famous chef We had one in Mississauga, but it went out of business. Oh, look, look on the ground. Hey! Dino costume, you know? Sure, go wherever you like. You show the way. I'm the tourist. Oh, look, kitty. There you go. We finally got some pets. There's another one. Oh, yes. Somebody's in her glory. So this is called High Street? Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that building over there. What's the W stand for again? I can't remember. Weston? It's a company, I think. Yeah, it's an, they're all over America. Can't remember the name of them. Let's see. Wander often, wander always. And they have a whole garden market here. You can get all kinds of plants. 
for your apartments, I take it. Really beautiful. I don't know if I'm gonna get the girls out of here the way it looks. It's very pretty. The little cactus is there. Two for 300 pesos. Yeah, walking the streets here late at night, clearly not a problem. A few guards have machine guns, stuff like that. Guards pretty much everywhere. Oh. Hello. Well, that was an interesting trip. I'm glad we at least got to see it. I, you know, I feel like it's, uh, it's like any modern concrete city. It has all the amenities, beautiful restaurants, beautiful bars, great nightlife, totally get it. But if you're coming to the Philippines for the culture, you're not getting the Filipino culture here, honestly, right? Like this is no different than you go to Hong Kong or any New York or Los Angeles or something like that um, to some of the the most premium parts of those cities. It's kind of like that. And uh, it's certainly not reflective of the rest of the Philippines. It is uh, quite interesting. Yeah, oh, it's incredible. Oh, the Landmark Cinema. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a Landmark Mall. It's a rosary. Oh, it's a rosary. Oh. Here, reopened like a few months ago. Oh. Right up there. Anyway, so that's it for tonight. We're gonna get ourselves a grab and head back. We fly in the morning to, are you ready? Boracay. That's another part that is not going to be very reflective of the, of the whole country. Um, it is going to be a completely resort town and it is absolutely stunning. Probably the most beautiful place in all the Philippines, right? Boracay beaches? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. We're finding all kinds of aspects of the Filipino life uh, throughout this trip so far. Okay, bye. And bye to Pauline. Bye. <clears throat> I wake up every minute with a fever dream. I push a mind to a limit where it needs to be. I work like I got vision I don't need to see. I'm picking mind over matter, I believe in me. I need to find more hours in the day to breathe. Need to find more power in the way I be. And when